Good afternoon. It is Wednesday today. I really have been living my best life. I've been in my bed, got up about 10 because I didn't go to bed till 2. So I had my 8 hours sleep and then I've just been working on the vlog and that is exporting now and I'm just going to get myself some breakfast. And guess who nipped to Tesco's very late last night? That was me. I wasn't filming because I was just doing the compost bin vlog yesterday. But anyway, I have now got... <laughs> Corn cakes! It's been so long! I love corn cakes. I've been having to eat rice cakes and they're just so dry. These are just oh, so delicious. With butter and Marmite and I know. I'm such a creature of habit. Izzy made a rather super cake. Have a look. Um, she burnt the top of it, but she just sliced it off and put sprinkles on. But she's used Nesquik powder, because we didn't have any cocoa powder, to do a marbling effect. That was her latest cake experiment. Very nice too. Got IB coming later, so I dare say he'll give a helping hand with the consumption of the cake. Speaking of Izzy, she's just doing online college at the moment up in her room. Now I think, I think she's going back to college on March 15th. Apparently that's when the exam age school children are going back and she is at that age. But because she's in a tertiary college doing the same equivalent qualifications that she would have done at school, I don't know whether she's gonna go back or not. I don't know, we'll find out. I haven't heard mention of colleges yet. I bought this in Tesco's last night because it's my dad's favorite and I wanted to try it. Trio of Olive Bloomer. But not now because it's, it's time for corn cakes. I'm having quite a noisy day as it turns out. I don't know if you can hear that. I've got my windows shut. I've been working in the cellar because I was just sitting at my desk as I do, getting the vlog up for tonight, you know, starting to do the thumbnail and all that and then a disco party started in the street right outside my windows and I looked out and on my wheelie bin was a huge workman stereo on full blast playing pop music and <laughs> yeah, not my favourite and um, yes of course the wheelie bin was um, acting as a great resonance chamber as well enhancing the bass I think I don't know I'm kind of guessing that bit but anyway, they're putting a scaffolding up next door. I had no idea. It's literally half a metre away from my window, something like that. Oh, So it's kind of overhanging in front of my bedroom window a bit. Just, you know, a few feet away from my desk where I like to work. So I did open the window, put my head out, and um, he spotted me and asked me if he'd like me to turn it down. And I said, oh, yeah, yeah, please, I'm trying to work. And so he did turn it down, but it's still very loud and I can still hear it. So, if there's one thing that's sure to paralyse my brain, it is being able to hear music. I cannot sleep a wink if I can hear any music at all. It's all I focus on. And I know I'm unusual. Other people are not like me. IB can work with noise on. He can work while I've got the radio on or music playing or anything. I just, I don't know how he can do it. For me, it paralyses me. I divert all my attention to it, whether I am willing or not. I cannot not listen to it. So, there we are. I've got the vlog up anyway, finally, in the cellar, so I've come back up, plugged my laptop back in. Oh, I'm going to have a bath now. Anyway, IB's coming at half four, so we'll probably have a walk. Hopefully it won't rain, and then we'll play tunes. Usual thing. So I better go and have that bath anyway. This is why I have my glasses off, look. <laughs> oh, we got black-eyed peas now. I don't mind this one too much. <laughs> I was just running my bath and then there was a knock at the door and I had completely forgotten is his former maths tutor was doing a puzzle swap today so she had knocked on the door and she'd put a bag on the doorstep and sort of retreated a bit and I'd completely forgotten because I was so distracted by all the noise but anyway we're like trying to shout to each other with this flipping stereo blasting uh, they seem to have turned it off now oh I do hope so I don't blame them for wanting to listen to music it must be I presume very hard work, especially working outdoors in the UK winter, it must be horrendous and I do feel very sorry for them having to do that and endure hardship that us people that work in comfortable environments do not have to endure, so I respect to the workmen <laughs> um, and I get that they need something to, you know, boost their happiness levels and music obviously works well for that, so yeah, I totally empathise with them but at the same time it drives me up the wall. I'm gonna have a bath now, bye. I went for the plaits look today. It's because when I go out with IB, I'm gonna have a hat on and I always forget. 
and I've got a high pony there it just it looks ridiculous it's like really big sticking up I'm gonna have soup and that olive bread for my lunch I'm not really hungry yet but it's 20 past three so if I don't eat now by the time Ivy comes and we're ready to go for a walk I'll be ready for lunch so that's not good timing so I think I'd better just get on with it Izzy's actually taken it upon herself to do some laundry she's done a light load so I'm really impressed and I made sure to tell her I was really impressed that she took it upon herself to contribute to the household without being asked so that was really good We've had some good news in Wales today, according to my Wales news app. Anyway, the deaths and hospital admissions are really low now. Well, not really low, they're still high, but like compared to what they have been, they have substantially decreased. I think the admissions level is now down to what it was in September, which is amazing. Not an awful lot of daylight left, but we are out walking. There's IB special boot cleaning stream. Do you need to clean your boots today? No, you're not going to clean them. Oh! Because they were covered in cement yesterday. Oh, nice. IB has just wandered off the path because he's seen a very straight stick. It took <laughs> his fancy. <laughs> you give everyone the wrong impression. <laughs> Why were you interested in the well, very straight curious, stick? Well, I was because it was quite straight and trees are not normally straight. What's your conclusion? It's a naturally occurring semi-straight branch. Oh! Oh, cool it's lovely and mild today so I took my coat off as you can see and then the second I did it, it started to rain didn't it it's looking like this now it is raining <laughs> yes it's that time again tea and cake time what is my hair doing we just got back from our walk it was raining and dark by the time we got back wasn't it Ivy yeah not that big Oh, sugar. Yes, literally, I just dropped sugar. Um, look, this is Isabel's special marbling that she's done. Very good. I think I'm going to need another piece. It's very, very good. And in fact, I did have two other tiny slithers previously as well. We are, of course, imminently going to be going down and playing a couple of tunes in the cellar for about an hour, and then I'm going to make some pasta tomatoey jollop for our dinner. The thrifty grandma has asked, could I be, please put a bag over his head and play fiddle for you? So, here he is. It's about half past eight now. I've been cooking, um, trying to juggle two dishes at once. Izzy doesn't want tomato because she says her gums are still sore. She's got the dentist coming up later this week, but for now she wants to avoid acidic stuff. So she's like having what we're having, but without the tomatoes, with pasta. Which looks like this. I'm not convinced that Izzy has come out very well, unfortunately. I put some of this fake meat in that I got from Tesco's late last night, which is this stuff. Is it alt? I suppose that stands for alternative. Um, it's like fake chicken, but hers is just disintegrated into a mush. Oh dear. She was going to have tuna pasta, but then I didn't realise I didn't have any tuna until after I started cooking. And uh, yeah, she really did not fancy tinned sardines with it, and I can't say I blame her. I like sardines, but I don't think it would really go. But me and Ivy are having like the more standard jollop. Uh, yeah, I'm going to grate some cheese now and serve up. It's about 20 past nine at night now. IB is sitting down at the desk about to start doing some work. Isabel and him are going to play chess, but not till, I don't know, 10 o'clock or something. So he wants to get a bit done first. I'm about to start my editing for the evening. But if you have enjoyed today's vlog, please give it a like. It really helps the channel to grow and I so appreciate it. If you're new here and you would like to follow more of our story, do hit that subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.